let's now talk about uh, another interesting thing uh, about uh, functions and that is about uh, rest and spread operations and how they uh, work uh, you might have uh, seen uh, you know uh, this uh, method called math.max uh, and inside math.max if I pass you know uh, you know uh, let's say 3 comma 6 comma uh, 2 uh, three values if I pass and if I you know run this code I will just to see that uh, just go to console so if I run this code I get six if I you know uh, pass three six two eight and I run I get eight so this is this interesting uh, bit about this function is that I can pass as many number of variables as I want to pass okay uh, so this is uh, basically if you have uh, used uh, language like java c++ this is called variable argument so there is a keyword uh, called uh, like uh, you use uh, dot 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 kind of notation in java if anybody has uh, used that in that language before and uh, so what i'm explaining here is not something very specific to typescript first of all this is something that's available in the latest version of javascript as well so if you're using a very uh, you know new browser or uh, the latest version of node.js is something that's available to you as well that's called using rest and spread operators what they do is they transfer they transform things into arrays or from array into uh, spread out a uh, number of variables so when you try and look at the definition of math.max you will see that uh, you know it says that uh, if I so when I start typing these numbers here right I'll just let me just put the console away so uh, so when I type start typing my dot max you see that it says the values has this dot 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 uh, op, uh, uh, syntax here so what this triple dot syntax basically signify is uh, the way we can actually define our own functions also so for example if i want to create a function which uh, would give me an average of numbers so if i do uh, console dot uh, log and uh, if i you know uh, want to write uh, an average function which says you know uh, have mean of uh, three five and six equal to and I want to call this function mean which I will uh, pass 3 uh, and 5 and uh, you know uh, uh, and 6 into it okay so how do I define a mean function like that that can take not necessarily 3 but it can take 2 or 4 arguments as well so uh, I'll define a function mean and I will write like this uh, dot 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 and I will write values and values are gonna be of number array type like this okay that's the interesting thing and it will return a number as well so what i will do is uh, you know uh, return uh, uh, i will have to uh, basically uh, sum all the values so um, i can do like uh, const sum equal to values dot reduce uh, So um, that's one way of uh, basically uh, reducing uh, variables. Uh, so this is uh, how you can actually create get a sum of all the numbers uh, using the reduce function. And uh, then uh, I want to return is uh, return uh, sum uh, divided by values dot uh, length. Okay. So if I do that, I believe I will get the mean of these numbers. Uh, let me just run it quickly and um, see. Okay. Um, so if I run this, you know, uh, I get the mean of these numbers, and I can get a mean of uh, two numbers as well. Uh, if I just pass five and six, uh, even uh, that is uh, perfectly possible, and uh, some more numbers as well, like you know. Uh, uh if if you want to pass uh, say five numbers even that's possible uh, there we go so uh that's how you basically so this is uh, the called this rest uh operator which basically uh takes you know uh the the values which are basically separate separate arguments and it uh you know uh, puts them into an array of numbers that's called the rest operator and you can define your function to have uh, this 
Now, this is something that's available only in the very latest version of JavaScript, as you can see. If I, I think, try to uh, compile to ES uh, 2015, uh, or uh, sorry, I think ES 20, ES 5, uh, yeah. So in that case, what it does is it uh, tries to deal with the arguments keyword, and that's how it deals with these numbers. Um, so if you if you compile it uh, to the arguments keyword, uh, if you compile it to an older version of JavaScript, then you would see how that's handled. It's handled in a little um, different fashion, as you can see. It uh, creates these values uh, as an array, and then it uh, takes arguments dot length and puts them into it. So the TypeScript compiler can uh, compile this into an old version of JavaScript where you would see how it uh, used to work when this uh, REST operator did not exist. But if you're using a modern version of JavaScript, then you don't need that. You know, it actually can translate into the same triple dot operator okay so that's the spread uh, rest operator in uh, javascript uh, does this